everyone, Miss Art here to give you my Sailor Moon Crystal episodes 1 through 13 review, also known as the Dark Kingdom Art. Now, when Sailor Moon Crystal was originally announced, there was a big hype surrounding it. Obvious, obviously, it's a huge franchise that many people have grown up with. So it got tons of attention. And I personally was very excited <laughs> for it. Anime Expo last year had a lot of Sailor Moon related events, both for the original series and for Crystal. You could just feel the energy and the anime fandom as a whole. Uh, getting amped up for this series. And I was personally excited about Sailor Moon Crystal because of the nostalgia feel. Sailor Moon was one of the first anime I ever watched growing up before I even knew what anime <laughs> was. So yeah, I was, I was on board from the beginning. But unfortunately, Sailor Moon Crystal has not lived up to the hype it received. I am sad to report this. There were quite a few noticeable weaknesses in the animation, the characterization, and the overall pacing of the story that really distracted from the magic, adventure, and friendship that is the original story. At first, it was exciting when it was revealed that Crystal was going to more closely follow the manga, and for the most part the anime is a shot by shot but ironically this doesn't enhance the anime <laughs> in general translating printed media into film is a tricky business and because they are two different types of media certain liberties and alterations have to be made in order to tell a story with the same level of engagement respectively found in the original media that's why Sometimes books that are translated into movies can be so disappointing to people who are obsessed with the book. But in order to make it a successful movie, sometimes things have to be taken out. And some things, sometimes things just need to be expanded. And the end result, hopefully, is an engaging book and an engaging movie that can both stand on their own and capture the essence of the story. Now in printed manga, images are naturally static. The action is interpreted and created within the viewer's mind. But animation is naturally motion. So for Sailor Moon Crystal, it, it just, there's moments when this, it's too still. <laughs> like for example, the Sailor Senshi are floating in space and having a dialogue. And naturally this works really well in the manga, but in the animation, it's too static and it leads to a lack of engagement. So while I appreciate the effort made on the studio's part to more closely follow the manga, I am left wishing that more time and budget was spent paying closer attention to the story pacing and the overall characterizations. I feel like that would have led to a much more engaging story overall and would more successfully capture the feel of the manga and the original series. Touching on the characterization we've seen so far in Crystal, as I mentioned, it is pretty weak, mostly because the story primarily focuses on Usagi. And though she is our main character, in order to create a compelling story, it helps to have a compelling cast of characters. We don't get to know the like the inner thoughts and even the react like the interactions between all the sailors senshi and that leaves a great big void <laughs> where there should be really fleshed out detail that keeps us engaged and keeps us caring about what happens to the sailor senshi so that just adds to why the series feels very hollow in particular the shintenno suffer greatly from lack of characterization they're supposed to be the former like mates to the Sailor Senshi, and yet when they show up and their connection to the Sailor Senshi are revealed, we care next to nothing about their fate. <laughs> so it's pretty sad. Overall for the Sailor Senshi, I feel like we are just given the bare minimum of what we know encompasses their individual personalities. So, but let's move on to the animation because it was okay in some parts and then it got really weird in other parts. What do I mean by that? There are particular scenes where you can just you look at it and you're like, what the hell happened? Some moments are so bad that the animators are going back and fixing it for the release of the DVDs. And though hit and miss animation is not unusual for anime, it is especially 
distracting in Santa Moon Crystal because the lack of characterization and the clunky storytelling uh, leaves us time to notice all the animation mistakes. Now another interesting part of the overall animation of Crystal is that there is a blending of 3D animation with a more traditional cell looking style. This is particularly noticeable in the Senshi transformations in which it's entirely 3D. And I know some fans really love it, some fans really hate it. Uh, for me, I appreciate that, that these scenes are well made. I think I would have preferred a more traditional look. I think that would have been uh, more of a wow factor for me. Sometimes the 3D can distract, <laughs> distract me in a negative way because I'm thinking about how I would like to see it done traditionally. But ultimately, they are what they are. And can I say that Mars, I think her transformation is the best out of all of them. <laughs> it's just, when you watch it, you're like, damn girl, go get it. As for the music of Crystal, overall, I think what we've heard it's been a good match for the series. I really don't have any complaints for the music, surprisingly. They actually did a decent job on that front. But overall, Sailor Moon Crystal is a lackluster reboot. But as an old school Moony, I'm going to continue watching it for the nostalgia factor, as I mentioned. This was a series I grew up with. This is a franchise that was forever in my heart. So even though it's not perfect and it has all these errors, I'm gonna be tuning in every other week to see it. Just, just because. It's Sailor Moon related. But let me know what you guys think of this Sailor Moon reboot. Do you like Crystal? Have you liked what you've seen? What are the problems you noticed that bug you the much? And are you gonna continue watching as the next arc begins? I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this review, please give this video a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate that. You can follow me on all the social medias. Links below in the description box. And yeah, just thank you guys so much for watching again. And I'll see you next time. Bye!